Welcome to the second ever World Grand Prix of Pixar Cars here hosted by Hot Wheels Tournaments. We are here for leg of one. We always start here in Tokyo, Japan. We have 11 racers here today ready to compete and take on the course. So here's the info. We have 11 racers, three races. The first, of course, here today in Japan. We will race in Italy and England later. There's a points scoring system. The car that scores the most points over three races will be your World Grand Prix champion. Leg one info. The cars are sorted into three classes, GT, Formula, and all around. The winners will advance to the final race. The losers will race in other races to determine their final finishing spot. The, but the winners of the first three races get to race for the first place victory here today. Here's the point system. First scores 11 points, second 10 points, etc. all the way down to 11th. So let's go ahead and take a look at the course for today. It's a windy, bendy course. That orange gate will open to allow for a dirt road shortcut that cars can take to potentially win. Here's a look at your reigning World Grand Prix champ, Lightning McQueen, and the winner of last time's Tokyo race in the World Grand Prix, Max Schnell. Those are the favorites. Look out for him today. So let's start with the all-around racers. We have Raul Sorol of France, Lightning McQueen from America, and Max Schnell from Germany. All right, we're off with the opening race. Each opening race will be two minutes long. Lightning was on the course first, followed by Max Schnell and Raul Sorul. He has the early lead. So far, clean racing. They're making good time. Raul Sorul gets a little hung up there, but he continues on. Lined up, one, two, three right now. Not a lot of racing. They're pretty spaced out right now as we finish the first 20 seconds. Raul Sorul, fantastic pass on Schnell, but it doesn't work, and he wrecks because of it, unfortunately. Tried to make the pass, tried to go outside, but it didn't work out for him. All right, we're back to making consistent laps here. Lightning McQueen takes a spill there. Back on his wheels there. Max Schnell getting caught by Raul Sorul, but he has to make a pit stop. He heads down pit lane. He'll be put back into play. Right back on Max Schnell's tail. He's looking to make that pass. He's tried to make it a couple times already. McQueen spins out. Schnell gives him some contact. And Raul Sorul has a problem. He'll head back down pit lane, but he's quickly back on the track. Max Schnell now hitting pit lane for the first time today. Raul Sorul takes a spill. Max Schnell goes through... Wow, what a pass as he took the shortcut there. Raul Sorul spills again, having some problems here today. So far, pretty consistent racing out of McQueen and Max Schnell. Raul Sorul can't say the same for him, but he's still in this race nonetheless as we near 45 seconds. Raul Sorul makes contact with that shortcut. Spins a little, but he's doing all right. Max Schnell now seems to have the lead. He makes contact. Lightning trying to close the gap here. Take that lead from him. Schnell holds on to it, though. Lightning can't catch up. Raul Sorul tailing in third right now. Oh, Max Schnell takes his first spin as Raul Sorul hits pit lane with 20 seconds to go. Raul Sorul spills again. Lightning pushing him down into the track. And now we got a big wreck up in pit lane. All the cars off the course. Nobody going. Max Schnell gets passed by Raul Sorul in the shortcuts. Seven seconds left to go. Who's going to win it? Five. Four, Lightning right in front of Max Schnell. Two, Max Schnell hits pit lane. The previous year's winner will finish second as Raul Sorul wins the first one. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, in this first clip, you'll see Raul Sorul tries to make a nice play here by passing Max Schnell. Going to the outside of him doesn't quite work, though, and he ends up wrecking. Then in the second clip, you can see Raul Sorul's already wrecked. This is the big wreck we saw. Him and Lightning get hung up right outside. Then Max Schnell goes through. Raul Sorul goes through. Lightning McQueen makes contact. They all get thrown off the track and head to pit lane. But it's Raul Sorul, the French racer, taking home the first race and heading to the final race to compete for first. So, Raul Sorul first, Max Schnell second, and Lightning McQueen, your reigning Grand Prix champ, in third. Let's take a look at the GT class. GT class is four cars strong today from America, Jeff Corvette, from Britain, Nigel Gearsley, and Lewis Hamilton, and from Spain, Miguel Camino there in the yellow. Let's get started. Looks like Nigel Gearsley is the first on the track, followed by Jeff Corvette, and already we got a wreck as Miguel Camino has to hit pit lane along with Lewis Hamilton. Got some cars taking the shortcut already. Jeff Corvette takes the shortcut to pass Miguel Camino for first. Miguel Camino back on pit lane. Second time already. Corvette likes that shortcut. Tries to make a pass, but it sends him down pit lane. Didn't have enough power. Camino has wrecked. Struggling early as the Spaniard. Corvette seems to have the early lead here. Followed by the Spaniard and the two Brits. Ooh, Miguel Camino trying to make a move. Not going to work out. He heads down pit lane again. Didn't have enough speed. Nigel Gearsley, big wreck down there as he collides with Lewis Hamilton. Three cars were on pit road there for a second. Jeff Corvette now has Lewis Hamilton on his tail, 
tail, but he heads down pit lane, followed by Miguel Camino once again hitting pit road. Four cars, a little bit of chaos on this track, but they seem to be developing a little bit of a rhythm now as we hit the halfway point in the race with one minute to go. Corvette seems to have the lead. The Brits are now second and third. Camino seems to be following up in fourth as they're in a smooth run right now. Long green flag section here. Nobody hitting pit road. Nigel Gearsley taking the pits. Oh, he goes for the shortcut again. Nigel Gearsley making pass after pass on that shortcut. He heads to first. Now Jeff Corvette sits in second, chasing the British man as he made a fantastic play there. Cars are once again in a nice little run here with 30 seconds to go. Lewis Hamilton putting pressure on Jeff Corvette, but he has to hit pit road, unfortunately. Nigel Gearsley still leading the pack after that fantastic run of shortcuts to make a lot of passes. We'll definitely take a look on the replay. As he now takes a spill here with 20 seconds to go, that's big. Seems like he's held onto the lead, though, as all three cars seem to be following him. Significant gap, gap between hit first and fourth here. Miguel Camino trying to make something happen. Doesn't seem like it's going to. Now Lewis Hamilton putting the pressure on Gearsley. Unfortunately, he hits pit road. Miguel Camino with a fantastic pass. Jeff Corvette now hitting the shortcut to take the lead and win it. What a move by the veteran. Some fantastic racing there. Let's go ahead and take a look on the replay. First up, check out this collision on pit road. As Miguel Camino goes up, Lewis Hamilton collides with him as he tries to head back down pit road. The second crash, the two British teammates colliding now. Nigel Gearsley and Lewis Hamilton colliding on pit road. Again, another collision there. Now watch these moves from Nigel Gearsley. Uses the shortcut to pick up ground on Lewis Hamilton. Then very next lap, takes it again. Clean pass on Lewis Hamilton. And then again, clean pass through the shortcut to get Jeff Corvette. Jeff Corvette took notes, however, though. Watch him use it to pass Miguel Camino to take the race win, passing two cars there to win the race and earn himself the chance to compete for the win here today. He finishes in first. Miguel Camino, the Spaniard there in yellow in second. Nigel Gearsley in green in third. And Lewis Hamilton takes fourth there on the end. Now for the formula cars to take the track, we have Francesco Bernoulli from Italy, Shu Todoroki from Japan, Rip Klutschkowski from Rear India, and Carla Veloso from Brazil. The cars are on the track, and here we go. Two minutes is on the clock. They are entering. Francesco starts off, followed by Shu. And already, Francesco gets nailed off the track by Shu Todoroki. Finally, Rich Klutschkowski, the last car on the track. Early problems for the Formula cars, but they seem to be going. And as I say that, we have a huge wreck on pit road. All four wrecked, and they're back on and having trouble getting back on the track. They all seem to want to be on pit road right now, needing tires and gas and repairs. Klutschkowski goes down pit road again, finally on the track. He hasn't spent much time on it today. Francesco gets drilled again and again. All four cars off the track after another pit road wreck. We're over 40 seconds in. We've barely seen any racing as Francesco shows off his skills there by taking the shortcut. And he's back down the pit road, right? As I say that, and again, he's down pit road. Him and Rich Klutschkowski really struggling to stay on the track today. But now we've got a little bit of a run going. And as I say that, uh, Francesco Rex, of course. And Chu Todoroki Rex. And Rich Klutschkowski is down in the pits again. Oh my goodness, these cars are not making it look easy here today. Another collision on pit road. They just can't find a rhythm like the GT and all around racers did. But there we go. Two more have wrecks. Actually, never mind. Nothing good happened there. I thought something did. Meanwhile, Coach Gonski takes the shortcut to make a nice pass there. Actually, another collision on pit road. Francesco and Chu Todoroki this time. And Chu Todoroki back down. We got passes happening all over the place. Too much action to keep track of. They're all packed together here. Coach Gonski on pit road again. Late here with 30 seconds to go. Someone flew off the track. I can't tell who. All right. And now we're into a little bit of rhythm. Car spaced out, racing competitively now. Oh, nice pass by Carla Veloso through there. And then Francesco passes right back through the shortcut. Oh my goodness. Great racing now here in the last 15 seconds. One last pit stop for Francesco as he heads down. Klitschkowski heads down with 10 seconds to go. Francesco wrecks. He needs to get back on his uh, wheels. He can't do it. Five seconds to go. Someone's back in the pits. I think it's Francesco. Two. One late pit stop for one car. Two more in the pits. Oh my goodness. Francesco wrecks as Rip Klitschkowski wins it.
Some absolute insanity here in the Formula Group. We have to go to the replay to take a look at the highlights from this race. It was all over the place. We start off with Francesco early in the race, trying to come back to the pits early. Gets drilled by Shu Todoroki, takes him off the track. Then, again, Francesco trying to come to the pits, and he takes out every single car, slides back into the racetrack, takes out every single car. Again, Francesco trying to go to the pits. You're sensing a common theme here. Every single car gets piled up behind him in an absolutely huge wreck. Then we take a look at this move from Carlo Veloso. Takes the shortcut to make a pass on Chu Todoroki. Trying to go to the inside. Results in wrecking. Unfortunately, doesn't quite work out. And then if you turn your eyes to pit lane here, you'll see Rip Clutch Gonski comes down. But then Chu Todoroki makes a nice pass on Carlo Veloso up top. Only to get hit by Francesco Bernoulli come to the pit. Then Carlo Veloso. Fantastic pass through the shortcut there on Francesco. But Francesco says, no, 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 I can do that better and passes him right back. But in the end, as much as we talked about Carlo and uh, Francesco, it's Rip Klutchkonski from New Rear India taking the win. He'll finish first. Shu Todoroki from Japan second. Carla from Brazil in third. And Francesco from Italy in fourth. Now we have the fourth place race between Francesco and Lewis Hamilton. This will be the spot for 11th and 10th today. These races will be 30 seconds until the final. And very quickly into those 30 seconds, Francesco is already wrecked. Lewis Hamilton looks to run laps around him. Francesco struggling just to show off. Lewis Hamilton takes the shortcut. Now behind Francesco, who has to hit the pits here with 15 seconds to go. We're at the halfway mark. Remember, 30 second race. Francesco now seems to have the lead until he wrecks. Lewis Hamilton will drift right around him. Easy peasy. And he seems to be in a commanding lead. One, zeros on the clock. And Francesco comes to the pit. So Francesco will go ahead and take 11th here today. Lewis Hamilton will finish 10th for Great Britain. Head to the third place cars. Lightning McQueen from America. Carlo Veloso from Brazil. And Nigel Gearsley from Great Britain. Now all racing. 30 seconds are on the clock. We have a three-car race ready to go. Lightning the first on the track. And we're in a little bit of a rhythm to start off right now. No more wrecks now that Francesco isn't out there. Nice to see all cars looking good here in the first 10 seconds. Little problem for Nigel there. Spun out there on the edge. But he's doing all right now. Nice rhythm going from these cars, all putting together some very consistent laps. Carla trying to close the lead here on McQueen, who seems to be leading. Hits the shortcut there, spun out a little bit. Three, two, one, no Rex. Who's going to take it? The timer goes off and allows Nigel Gearsley to make the pass for the win. He will finish in seventh today. Eighth goes to Lightning McQueen, and ninth goes to Carlo Veloso. We now have the third place car, or second place cars, excuse yeah, the me. The Spaniard, Miguel Camino, the... Uh, from Japan, Chu Todoroki and the German Max Schnell all racing. They're on the track here competing for fourth, fifth, and sixth. As the timer gets started, 30 seconds, Kamido the first, then followed by Shu, then Max Schnell. We're in a little bit of a rhythm again to start off here. Very easy going race so far. Unfortunately, Max Schnell takes a spill right as I say that. But now back on his wheels and we're drifting around, having a good time. Everybody's looking good, putting together clean laps as we head to 10 seconds to go. Oh, Camino flips as he tries to go through the shortcut. That could hurt him with five to go. Schnell also wrecked. Three to go. Two, one. It goes off just in time for Shu Todoroki. Miguel Camino second. Max Schnell third there. So Shu will finish fourth. Uh, Miguel Camino fifth and Max Schnell in sixth. Now it's time for the champion race. Who will win leg one? Who will take first? F three cars ready to battle that. Jeff Gorvette represents GT. Rip Klutchkonsi represents the formula. And all around is represented by Raul Sarul. A minute 30 here for the final race as Raul Sarul takes the early spill. So 90 seconds on the clock. Klutchkonsi comes down pit road. We saw that often in the first race. Gorvette seems to be out to the early lead. Sarul tried to take the shortcut. He couldn't, but Klutchkonsi did. Fantastic move there from him to take what seems to be the lead early here. America, France, and New Rear India all uh, represented here by these three cars. Gorbet spins out. Sarul takes advantage and makes a nice pass. Klutchkonsky couldn't get the enough power from the booster. He heads to pit road. Jeff Gorbet trying to get Raul Sarul back for that pass, trying to haul him down. Klutchkonsky in close right now. Tries to make the pass, and he'll succeed. Fantastic move on the inside there. Didn't have to use the shortcut for any type of pass there. Very well done. Sarul now in the pits here with 40 seconds to go. Comes out of the pits, immediately wrecks. That's unfortunate. Still on his, not on his wheels. Now he's back ready to go. Gorvet now making his pit stop as Klutchkonsky wrecks. Almost holds up Sarul there. Gorvet wrecking again. All right, 30 seconds to go here. Klutchkonsky going through the shortcut. Couldn't quite make it work. Now can't get back on the track. 
He's stuck in the pit. Sarul gets held up. Gorvette makes the pass now. Klechkovsky in the pits for a second there. Gets back on it as Sarul made a pass using the shortcut on Jeff Gorvette. So much happening. Three cars on the track, but they're making it look good right now. Fantastic racing. Five seconds to go. Who's going to win it? We're having a clean run to the finish. Here's how it looks. Three, two, one. It goes off, and Jeff Gorvette is first to the finish line, beating out Rip Klechkovsky and Raul Sarul. So the American and yellow and the red, white, and blue is going to take it. Watch him burn it down here in Japan. Absolutely fantastic performance. Who can forget that pass he made in his first race to win it against Miguel Camino? The definition of clutch here today. And deservedly, he will burn it down and take a victory lap here in Tokyo. And just look at him go here on the drifting track. Making it look so, so easy do these cars here today. Having a nice little drive to himself. Nice little Sunday drive. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Those are 11 racers. They will be in this. Their standings order is the exact same as how they finished today. So Gorvette will be first all the way to Bernoulli and last. You'll get a look at them as they go by here. 11 cars. All raced it out here in leg one. We will be back with leg two next week. Thank you all so much for walking, watching the first leg of the second ever World Grand Prix. So will Lightning McQueen continue to defend his title? We'll find out. It's Jeff Corvette on top early.